Today I'm going to go and demonstrate how to set up the floating blanking using the dip switch settings in the F3SG Safety Global Light Curtain. Presently I have gone and turned the power off to the light curtain. I've set all the dip switches off in the receiver portion of the light curtain. I've set them all to be off except for dip switch number 6. I've turned dip switch number 6 on both SW1 and SW2 are both in, on the on condition. First thing you're going to do after that is you're going to go and turn power on and then we're going to go in and place the object in the view and I'm just using a standard eraser for the object and I'm going to go and place the object in the view and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to go and push the push and hold the white button that's in between SW1 and SW2. I'll do that until my CFG and my blank LED are lit and then I'm going to go and tap on it and if all goes well my blank LED will be solid my CFG LED will be flashing indicating that it has been set up proper. Now all I have to do is go and hold the reset key for three seconds, release it, and then you'll see that my floating blanking has now been set proper. If I put my hand in where it shouldn't be, it'll trip the light curtain. But anything in between, we'll set it up to where it'll be a considered safe operation. Now if I remove the object, I re-enter it into the field, I do need to go and hit reset for three seconds to re-enable it. Now I have the condition re-enabled. That ends the demonstration on the floating blanking, setting it up via dip switches. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.